This sample demonstrates how to create an experiment that uses two advanced options for attributes. First, we will begin by creating a basic experiment structure. To do this, open the experiment session proc and add two text objects and a list object in between. Name the first text object introduction. Name the list object block list. And name the last text object goodbye. Double click on the introduction text object and type Welcome to the experiment. Enter, enter. Press space in all caps to continue. Open the text object properties page and navigate to the duration input tab. Change the duration to infinite and add a keyboard device. Change the allowable from any to space in all caps. Press OK to accept the changes and exit out of the properties window. Exit out of the introduction text object. Open the goodbye text object. Type goodbye on the space provided. Exit out of the goodbye text object. Open the block list object. Under the procedure column, type block proc and make sure block proc is created as a new procedure. Click yes, and then yes again. Close out of the block list and open block proc. Drag a new list object to block proc and name it trial list. Double click on the trial list object to open its properties page. Under the procedure column, type trial proc and create the, a procedure called trial proc. Now, add three columns. These will be the attributes that will be referenced later in the experiment. Name the first column A, and under it, type X. Name the second column B, and under it, type Y. Name the third column XY, and under it, type Z. Close out of the trial list object and open the trial proc. To the trial proc, add four different text objects. Name the first text object A. Name the second text object B. Name the third text object AB. And name the fourth text object A and B. Now, open the first text object called A. In the space provided, type an attribute reference for the attribute called A mentioned in the trial proc.
This will cause an X to appear when the program is run because it's referencing the A column in the trial list object. Close out of the text object. Open the B text object. Just as before, create an attribute reference for the B attribute in the trial list. This will cause a Y to appear. Close out of the text object. Now open the AB text object. In the space provided, type an attribute reference for A and then right next to it, create an attribute reference for B. E prime will resolve both of these references at once and put them together. So when the experiment is run, the slide will read x, y right next to each other without any spaces. Close out of the a, b text object. Finally, open the a and b text object. In the same manner as the previous slide, create an attribute reference for both a and b next to each other. But this time, Put both of the attribute references in brackets, creating one big attribute reference. This will cause E prime to resolve the A and B attribute references, and then look to resolve the attribute as a completely new attribute. In this case, it will resolve A to X and B to Y, and then look for an XY attribute which, in this case, will return a Z because of the XY attribute in the trial list. And there you have it, two advanced properties of attributes.